So, who is Andre Cohen? Um, I am a, a teacher, a mentor, student. Uh, I'm an advocate. I, uh, I've spent the last, uh, you know, seven years as a cultural uh, competence coordinator for Anoka County, where I did EEO and affirmative action. Uh, I was responsible for that affirmative action program. Um, I, I teach um, at the college level as an adjunct. Um, instructor at a number of colleges and universities in the Twin Cities. And I'm, I'm looking forward to really reshaping and reforming how we talk about diversity and how we actually get people included in the process. And so um, I believe that the old ways of talking about uh, diversity um, has yielded uh, the fruit that we have today. And so for some folks, it's been um, a great ride and it's produced the kinds of things that, that, uh, that we've been looking for. But for other folks, the, the conversation's been lacking in either depth or, or practical application in today's time. And so um, as the Supreme Court continues to kind of uh, wrestle with the, the concepts and the, and the definition of affirmative action programs, as our communities become more diverse and more uh, complex, um, it becomes important to have a different kind of conversation. And so the, the old conversation typically uh, went like this, and I'm oversimplifying it um, to, to make my point more dramatic. But it simply, it, for the most part, it went like this. Uh, white people are, um, are guilty and they're bad for uh, partic their participation, either implicit or explicit, um, in the, uh, the subjugation of, of black folks or people of color. And that people of color are noble because they suffer through these injustices. And so um, what, we know what we know for a fact is that um, both, both sides or, or all sides of these equations have, um, have benefited and have suffered um, under the, the, the thumb of oppression, either um, the, the oppressors themselves or those that are, are, have been uh, subjugated to, to that oppression. And so uh, when we talk about those things, it's important that we bring people's attention back to the fact that uh, there's dignity and honor in being human and that all people are striving for significance, belonging, and safety no matter what their, their skin tone and that um, or, or their background or their orientation uh, or uh, their, uh, their even their ideologies uh, that they're all trying to get significance belonging and safety uh, that they deserve dignity and honor and being human because they exist as a being on this planet and that um, that all human conflicts are in fact obstacle illusions they are things that appear to be differences, things that appear to be um, problematic, but in fact, they are just obstacles that, um, that given the right light, given the right framework, given the right perspective and conversation, we can actually illuminate those, um, those conflicts and, um, and get those out of the way so that we can actually get some, some work done. And so um, it, as you look for diversity trainers, you look for cultural competence folks or sensitivity training, however um, you and your organization uh, defines that, uh, know that we have a number of skills, uh, that, that I'm skilled in a number of ways of, of getting to those goals, and that we have some... Um, uh, we're, we're engaging, that we're uh, the, the best compliment I, uh, I've ever received in, in a training was just the other day, and a woman said, you are controversial. And I took that as a compliment. And so um, just know those things about myself, and um, I've been doing this for a long time, and uh, want to continue to do it and share some of my insights with you. So uh, we look forward to, to working together, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.